Hey there! If you're new here, check out the stickied comment. There will be a link to the playlist of these videos. Um, basically, two weeks ago, I was laid off on my birthday. Uh, about two thirds of the company was. So, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? It kind of stinks. It's the first time I've ever been laid off. Um, it's the first time I've been unemployed in the better part of 17 years trying to navigate that. I don't have my degree. I'm 20 years into my bachelor's and still have another year or two to go. Uh, assuming I find work soon, because I pay my tuition in cash. I don't have a lot of diverse experience. Um, I did something very hyper-specific for 15 and a half years that doesn't really translate to too many other industries. And I've done a lot of like random consulting kind of stuff over those years too. This this job I just lost was gonna be like my way to get on a trajectory down another path and start learning new things. And I did, I learned a ton of stuff. I'm super grateful for the 13 months I had. I just wish it had been like another year or two, especially so I could like finish my degree and stuff. So trying to navigate uh, the job market with that, it, all these job postings I keep finding, I'm like, they want five to 10 years of experience. They want five times as much stuff as I know. So it's gonna be like a networking thing, basically. I'm gonna to have to find someone that's just willing to take a chance based on just my ability to learn things and not necessarily what I've done in the past. So yeah, I've applied to four or five jobs a day since being laid off. I've been rejected from one pretty quickly. That was a data analyst for Dollar General. Um, I appreciate the rejection because then I'm not sitting around like, hey, am I ever gonna hear from this company? Which 99% of them I'll never hear from. Uh, yesterday I applied to three on LinkedIn alone and two of those had profile views from the hiring person within 20 minutes. I doubt those go anywhere, but I had an introduction made a week ago today. Um, I guess the person's out of office or something because they never replied. So hopefully I hear from them like early next week to see if that goes anywhere. Yesterday, I had intended to do Python for a few hours and then do uh, some other stuff. And being spring in central Indiana, storms. So the storms came through. Um, I've got some footage of that I'll show here shortly. Basically, I didn't have electricity for several hours, so... <laughs> I didn't get nearly as much done as I wanted to yesterday. I actually only got about 10 minutes of Python learning done. So that's my priority today. Uh, try to make up two days on the 100-day course that I'm doing and then apply for jobs and all of that fun stuff. I'm still riding the roller coaster. Um, one minute I feel good. The drop of a dime, drop of a hat. I'm just like, oh, okay. Uh, I'm unemployed and probably never going to find a job. So I go from good to Eeyore or Droopy Dog. Fun times. Um, the morning's just getting started, so let's go ahead and tackle today and see what happens. My LinkedIn will also be in that sticky comment in the bottom if you want to take a look at it. Um, yeah. Otherwise, let's go ahead and go to that footage. You can see uh, some things that were going on yesterday. I don't know how well you can hear me, but um, yeah, this is my Wednesday. <laughs> Power went out about an hour ago. Um, they're saying it's gonna be, it's 1049 now. They're saying it's gonna be like 345. Although I don't believe that because now there's tornado watches still five and lots of storm cells in the area. Hopefully the power comes back on before then. Uh, we don't have battery backup on our sump. Like I just haven't had the money and now that I'm unemployed. Don't exactly have the, the income for that. So I went to go get the mail and stuff. Just got back and I started pouring. So I'm just sitting in my car waiting for it to quit so I don't get soaked going into the house. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to go down to the basement probably three or four times an hour at least and manually pump the sump i have one of those things that looks like a giant bicycle pump so i can pump with that i th think 
my little battery backup, you know, EcoFlow, I th think it should be able to do it to run the pump, but I may also need that to run the refrigerator. The chest freezer will be mostly fine. And if I had to, I could run it for, you know, like 10 minutes every six hours probably and it would stay fine. There's enough thermal mass in there. Refrigerator is what I'm more worried about if power doesn't come back on tonight. Um, so yeah, this is my Wednesday afternoon and morning. I was literally in the middle of a job application when uh, power went out. I was about to press submit. Like I was mousing down to the submit button and the power went out. <sighs> What's the saying? When it rains, it pours. Um, yeah. So the good news is my EcoFlow Max will actually run the sump. It was only drawn about 598 something watts. Um, it ran for 20 seconds, didn't change the battery percentage at all. So instead of using this like T-pump thing, I will just come down here every hour, hour and a half, and turn the battery on. I'll go and turn the battery off when I'm not down here, just because it does draw a load, you know, just being on and, and stuff. So yeah, uh, if power comes back on this afternoon like it's supposed to, I should be good. And I can always charge this more off my LiPo uh, amateur radio battery packs by doing my little hack where I use the um, 12 volt input to charge it. Maybe car charger thing. So that's cool. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Not just for me, but like for anyone else going through this. Um, this is new to me. So I, I don't know what this experience is like. I, I don't know what the struggles were going into this. I don't know when it's going to end. And hopefully me documenting this process can be helpful to someone else either now or in the future. But yeah, let's go and go to that footage. And after that, you guys have a wonderful morning, day, evening, night, whatever, and I'll see you in the next video.